morning everybody okay this will be our last class before we see each other again okay this hopefully lah we hope that all will be fine so teacher can see you face to face again and by then i really hope that uh, all the online classes or the homework all have completed your work okay so today uh teacher want to do more serious stuff huh? because during the whole, uh, during <coughs> our meeting yesterday, uh, so the main focus is in your writing later is the second part. Okay, so today teacher will focus more on the second part of writing. Okay, teacher is gearing towards the writing because so far only three of you have submitted your work. Okay, you have done other work, yes, but, but still only three submitted your essay. Teacher hope that more of you will start writing. Okay, so after this one, teacher will give you one writing. I hope that please, please do your writing. Okay, so the teacher know that mm, you are at that momentum. Okay, before the assessment being assessed. Uh, because our school is sleeping. Uh, just to let you know why teacher uh, focus so much. Because our school, it seems English is the best in the whole bar. Uh not since it's the, it's the result for last year as we last year yeah so right now they want us to help the Hubaram, uh how actually we teach <laughs> okay so it's a bit challenging okay so i hope that all of you cooperate with teacher and make sure that you perform okay if not it's very hard for me to answer all right so so today now teacher going to share screen huh? Okay, let's go and share the screen. All right. All right, I think this one, teacher, uh, actually revealed to you, uh, I think yesterday. Okay, it's the latest writing format, right? Teacher yesterday just gave you all the questions to refresh you again. But today I upgrade. Okay, so. I remind you again in your writing it will still be all be tested huh all the three parts it will still be tested but for the whole vara uh they require us to help them with the guided writing okay so i hope that all of you can perform and help teacher to see the analysis and see the weakness of students so that we can help others as well okay huh so okay all um one question each and 20 marks and teacher already revealed to you the marking criteria. It will be C for content, uh, CA for communicative achievement, then for O, organization, and L for language. I have to keep on repeating this to you so that you are aware how teacher actually gave marks to you, okay, and how you can improve. All right, so for this short communicative message, is only... 80 words so it's not very hard okay uh it's actually it's still the form three level okay then you go to part two this is the one that teacher will focus on uh to see and analyze to help students okay so this one is 125 to 150 words all right okay this is slightly different from the textbook the textbook actually gave us 140 to 190 words right but then in our spm writing this is the requirement words 125 to 150 words all right okay but if you write 290 still acceptable and then part three all right is the extended writing our teacher will not focus so much on extended writing at the moment because uh yesterday the, all the english teacher agree that this part three uh because we just finished for four uh four five is the is the one that we will gear you towards this 200 and 250 words but so far because we have not really uh meet your face to face so this will not be our main concern now our main concern is part two because you already completed the form four uh syllabus Okay, huh? so please bear in mind today I'll focus in part two, guided writing. Okay, all right, so this one. Uh, I will repeat again to you because that day I think I didn't show you the answer. 
I just roughly show you what you should do. So mm -hmm. today I'm going to repeat again, but with the answer. Okay, Loretta, can you help teacher to read? You must answer these questions. You receive an email from your new friend, Lila, who has just enrolled in your school. Hi, the weekends are finally here. Let's go to the beach with our class schoolmates. Which beach shall we go to and what can we do there? What should we bring? I will be waiting eagerly for your reply. Bye. Okay, thank you, Loretta. So you see, right, I have already highlighted. It's the same goes for all of you. So when you have this question, please underline and if can you number it so that you make sure you, you fulfill all the requirement, the relevant information that you need to put in and to make sure that the reader well informed. Okay, now let's look at the answer now. Okay, this will be given to you. Okay, everything you just need to write um, in the test paper. But I think the, the latest, the, the one that uh being prepared, you need to use your full scale paper. Okay, this one, the 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 writing space not given to you. You need to use your full scale paper to write. Okay, all right. So this will be the answer. Okay, Loretta, did you know that day? Did you only gave you the questions, isn't it? All right. So now I reveal to you the answer as well. Okay. All right, Loretta, can you help to do the answer? Hi. Hi. What a fantastic idea. There are a few beaches which we could go to. However, I feel the best beach to go is Rainbow Beach. It is not too far from town. We could take a bus to the beach. We can go swimming, get skiing, snorkeling, and do some kite flying at the beach. There are also many stalls near the beach. My favorite is the stall that sells seafood. As to what to bring, I suggest you bring a towel, an extra pair of clothes, and some sunscreen. Bye. Okay, thank you. So, did you already highlight everything to me? Okay, for CFR, the marking is very systematic. Okay, we look at the first question which beach to go. As long as you have named the beach, Rainbow Beach, straight away we will take, we got that mark ready for content. Then after that, you move on. What activity you're supposed to do? Okay, which beach shall we go to? Already answered. What can we do there? Okay, we can go swimming, jet skiing, snorkeling, and kite flying. So, as long as you mention, yes. Then the next one, what should we bring? You say, uh, I suggest you bring a towel and extra pairs of clothes and some sunscreen. Okay, fulfill. So you will most probably get a five. Of course, it will for the content part you get five already if you just do like that. Of course, later on it will go to uh, the um uh communicative awareness uh, achievement. So this one, okay, you put hi, then you put bye. Okay, what's a fantastic idea? So everything is good. Okay, you don't say suddenly like, uh, in addition, or suddenly, consequently, uh, you don't have such uh, register in your in your uh, simple email like that because this is not a formal email. We don't talk like that. Okay, so then your register is correct, the communicative is correct, then you get a five or so. Then, of course, you will go into organization, uh, seeing that. See here, we'll use however. Okay, uh, so everything quite okay, as long as there is. And then the punctuation use, you have three. So everything is good. So most probably you will score very high here. Unless you have mistake with your grammar, okay, or with your tenses. Or else, most probably you can score almost full marks here. Okay, huh? so next one. Let's go to the next one. This is the main part that teacher would like to focus today. All right, I will read, then I will have, uh, I will have Loretta to read the answer. Okay, this one, huh? Your class has been discussing about birthday gifts and your teacher is asking to write an essay about buying a suitable birthday gift for a loved one. 
So in your essay, you should write about what, what you would buy, okay? Who you would buy for, reasons for your choice, and where you would buy it. So you see, make sure you uh, do this. Okay, let's have the answer. Okay, Loretta, can you read for teacher? My mother will be celebrating her birthday soon. I have been thinking about what to get her and I have finally made my decision. I will get her a branded black leather handbag. Although a leather handbag would be costly, I do not mind buying it as my mother deserves it. She has sacrificed a lot for me and so it is time I did something nice for her. A leather handbag would last long and would look elegant. It is also eco-friendly. It is made of natural material and it is biodegradable. At first, I wanted to buy the handbag from an online shop. Later, I later found out that a shop in my neighborhood shopping center was having a sale on leather handbags. I decided to buy there instead. Apart from selling at a cheaper price, they also have a one-year warranty for the handbag. I hope my mother loves her birthday gift. All right. Okay. Thank you, Loretta, for your reading. Okay. Maybe all of you just has been hearing, but have not really processed what's happening. Ah, huh? so teacher, highlight one by one. Okay. The first one: what you would buy and who you would buy it for. So everything is in paragraph one. It's very systematic. Okay. You just write according to what is required then you will score for your seat all right don't turn around the bush don't give any other things which are not relevant okay so first one what you will buy already said there a branded black leather handbag who for my mother but if you see the way it is written it's not that uh i will i will buy a leather uh leather bag branded black leather handbag for my mother full stop Actually, if you just write like that, uh, also fulfilled. But in your language, in your in your organization and everything, you cannot put yourself as a B2 level. You see, the way it is written is, my mother will be celebrating her birthday soon. You see, the way it is, the, the sentence structure, the word used, is not the normal uh, form one, form two, form three, you'll be able to write like that. Okay, it started with my mother will be celebrating her birthday soon. Instead of just saying, I will buy a birthday present for my mother. Uh, I think I will buy a branded black by the back. Actually, it will still fulfill the content, but uh, the rest of it will not show as a B2 level. Okay, huh? so let's go to the next one. <clears throat> reasons. Okay, it's stated here, reasons. Not one reason, but reasons. So what's the reason? You see, why you buy? Because although a leather handbag would be costly, you see, he uses the word although. It's a contrast, right? Although a leather handbag would be costly, I do not mind buying it, as my mother deserves it. So this is the first reason, all right, that she has sacrificed. So how she said it, she justified her answer. She has sacrificed a lot for me. And so it is time I did something nice for her, okay? Then a leather handbag would last long. So she gave all the reasons. Okay, reasons why buy for the mom. Reason why buying uh, the leather handbag. Okay, so last long, look elegant. It is also okay. eco-friendly and it's made of natural material and it's biodegradable. So all this is all the good point to support why she decided to buy a branded black leather handbag. It's not just a normal handbag but a branded black leather handbag is very very specific okay huh? then the next one where you would buy it you see huh? it is written 
every paragraph you just follow what they want don't write other than that you just focus on how to justify your answers how to make the sentence look solid okay then the next where you would buy it okay so the answer online shop so at first i wanted to buy the handbag from an online shop then later i found out that a shop in my neighborhood shopping center was having a sale see she described sales on leather handbag so i decided to buy there instead apart use the word apart from selling at a cheap price they also have a one-year warranty for the handbag okay so this is the b2 level writing so i hope my mother loves her gift so by that and already i hope my mother loves her the gift that's it okay let's look at the second one Okay, teacher, today the main focus is I want you to refresh back again how to write this part because this part will be our main focus for the whole part. Okay, all right. Huh? I hope those that are present today, please kindly type hi, teacher, or whatsoever so that I know that you are present. Huh? Because so far, at my the one that I can see is Akma, Ainin, Pretty, Rachel, Farisa, and of course, with me, Loretta, and the rest of you. I actually do not know uh, who is present with me at the moment. So please, at the live chat, please remember to type your name. Okay, May Fang is here. Good morning. Okay, Rachel is here. Okay, Nabila is here. Okay, Grace is here. Good. Niza is here. So if you are here, please type your name so that later I can keep in your attendance. And, and then today, the part is very important. Okay, because it's a refresh and a revision on writing. Okay, now the next one. Uh, I will read the questions to all of you and then Loretta will read the answer. Okay, now your class has been discussing about holiday destinations. Holiday, right? Holiday destinations. And your teacher has asked you to write an essay about holiday destination that you would like to go. Okay, so in your essay, you should write about first where you would like to go. Mm -hmm. reasons for your choice again you see the second paragraph is always asking reasons for your choice then how long you plan okay how long you plan to stay there okay let's look at the essay now okay Lorita, can you help teacher to read The holidays are coming, and I would like to go for a trip with my family. My dream destination would be Sabah, the land below the wine. One of the main reasons I would like to visit Sabah is because it is home to Mount Kinabalu. I really would like to see it at least once in my lifetime. It will take two days to hike up the mountain and along the way my family and I will be able to enjoy seeing the flora and fauna. I'm sure the view at the top is breathtaking. We could also spend a few days at any of the islands at Tunku Abdurrahman Marine Park. We could go snorkeling, diving, and zip lining. The Kota Kinabalu town has its own attractions. We could be visit the Gaya Street Morning Market. I heard that we could get all sorts of things there, such as batik sarongs, footwear, fruits and flowers, local snack, cakes, and others. My family and I could stay in Sabah for a week. I'm sure we would have a wonderful time there. Okay. Okay, uh, so let's look at how it is uh, planned. Okay, so the first one, where you would like so all you need to say is where you would like to go so the way you say it very important like this one 
the holidays are coming and I would like to go for a trip with my family. My dream destination would be Sabah. You see the way it is expressed? Okay, you can just say, oh, holiday, school holidays uh, is coming. I would like to go to Sabah. No, like that also can. But the way it is written is very nice. My whole, the whole, the holidays are coming and I would like to go for a trip with my family. My dream destination would be Sabah, the land below the wind. Okay, there are two pronunciations to this one. Huh? Wind is the bayou. All right. Bayou. Another one, wine. Wine is like certain words, right? They need to be wine. Uh, especially, I think your, your, the one that jump around it, at your, at your size cat, right? Uh, if you have, you have to wine it. If not, it won't, it won't take. It won't start ticking. You have to wind it. Then after that, it will start ticking again. That is called wind. Same spelling, different meaning and different pronunciation. Okay, so you finish with the... Uh, then the next one. Reasons for your choice. Okay, we'll go in depth into reasons for your choice later. Okay, and the third one, the third paragraph. How long you plan to stay. So every paragraph focus on the question asked. So don't put here and there. Start it with where you would like to go. Then give the reasons how long you plan to stay. That's how it is being uh, arranged. Okay, now we focus on, uh, this is the place, Sabah. Okay, the next one. All right, the reasons, right? The reasons. One of the main reasons, I uh, start like that. One of the main reasons, or maybe you can say the first reasons is like that. Okay, one of the main reasons I would like to visit Sabah is because it is the home to Mount Kinabalu. Then after that, what else? I really would like to see at this once. Then it will take two days to hide up. Okay, you, you justify your answer. You explain a little bit. Then your main reasons, another reason is to enjoy seeing the flora and fauna. Uh, then after that, you say, I'm sure the view will be breathtaking. Remember the, the vocabulary? Breathtaking. Then we could also spend a few days at the island. Then go snorkeling, diving, and sibling. All right. Okay. What I can write down, protection, and visit Gaia Sheets. So all this will be the reasons why you would like to go to summer. Okay. Uh, actually, all this, lots more reason. And when you write certain things, make sure you elaborate a little bit. Give example. Uh, like you just say, uh, I'd like to go to see Flora and Fauna. I'd like to go to Mount Kinabalu. And I also want to visit the Gaia Street. Nothing. Explain. No, you have to explain and justify your answers. Okay? All right. The last one will be uh, how long you plan to stay. Uh, stay for? For a week. Very clear. So if you write like that, everything covered, you definitely got full marks for this one. Okay? All right. That whatever I'm giving you today, it will be a revision to you. I hope that you view it again before you sit for this exam. I think Monday it will be your, you know, Monday is a holiday, Tuesday. Wednesday will be our English paper, I think. Okay, now the third part. The third part, this one, it will be tested, but it's not uh, our main, main, uh, we won't really analyze on this part. Okay, so it will be three questions. Still will be three questions given to you. Okay, then you have to pick one of it. Make sure you know the story. So this is the one. All right, uh, later on, we will go through this. Okay, the first one. Uh, keeping the neighborhood safe. Okay, it's writing an article. Article is the one that you always see in your school magazine. Those are articles. Okay, articles, huh? okay. So the article, keeping the neighborhood safe. What can residents do to keep the neighborhood safe? Okay, concerning what the residents. Then what facilities are needed to keep the residents, the neighborhood safe? How can neighborhood safety be improved? So all this will be the question asked. Okay, not necessarily you must pick the article, but teacher want to do revision with you. So better show you the answer. Okay, all right. Uh, this one is done. I should be show you the answer. Okay, uh, okay. Let's have Loretta. Can you help teacher to read this as introduction?
Introduction. In your opinion, the community recreation center is meeting the expectations of the community as a whole. However, as there is still room for improvement in order to attract more community members to visit the center. Body, paragraph one. At present, there are only a few classes offered. Furthermore, these classes are on weekday mornings. Not many people can attend the classes at that time as they are working or at school. Instead, the classes should be held in the evening or at weekends. There should also be more classes offered such as dance, music, baking, and others to cater to more people in the community. Alright, so class, you can see this is a higher level of writing, right? It's not like just now the part one and part two. Part one and part two basically is all guided. Alright, to give you, you just follow, okay? One, two, three. Another one, I said one, two, three. But you see this one, even though the, the number one bullet just now, if you look at the number one bullet, right? It says, what can residents do to keep... Are you? All right, did you give me the wrong, wrong one? Okay, sorry, ah. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. I think I gave you the wrong question. All right, still we'll, we'll, we'll post a new question to you, ah. Uh. All right, I will, I will send... I will send to the group. Okay, teacher have put the wrong wrong question. Okay, wait, ah, sorry, ah. No wonder. Uh huh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Teacher will choose another one and I will send it to you. Okay, and then we can discuss this uh further. So sorry. Okay, escape this. Right. Wait, ah. All right, okay, it's a good thing of having internet. Okay. All right, teacher will just read to you uh, while you while you uh look at the copy. All right, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so this will be the answer. So sorry, teacher gave you the wrong questions. Okay. Okay, this is about community hall. Okay, writing a uh an article, ah. Uh. Okay, so sorry about that. Okay, so uh, did you read this again? Did you read this again? Uh? All right, so our community recreation center. So it's focused on uh, the community recreation center. Our recreation center is mostly for people like uh, uh, or the. It, it helps the community, right, to uh, maybe they do things there. They have classes like uh, uh, yoga for the old people. Then maybe they have uh, classes like um, drawing or craft. It's more like to recreate for the community where the community can come together and they can join classes together. Normally, the fees and the payment all are quite cheap, and then it's like normally it's like maybe volunteer or something like that. Okay, it's uh it's more for the community sake. Okay, I also to explain to you again, ah, uh. and then of course there are three bullets. The first bullet will be can you hear right, uh, Loretta? Are you looking at the at the slide? You're looking at the slide, right? 
or you couldn't see the slide. Lorita, you're you're looking at the slide. No answer. Okay. Loretta, you're looking at the slide, right? Okay, good. Yes. From you. I, yes, yes. I thought I'm talking to myself. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, good. So you are looking at the slide. Okay, so teacher will going to present again. Yeah. All right, so. Yes, ah. so you are supposed to talk about what classes would you like to uh, like the recreation center to provide. Okay, let's go to the uh, the paragraph one. Okay, you can see the introduction. Introduction is to introduce. They gave the definition. So you see, ah, you look at the definition given. In your opinion, the community recreation center is meeting the expectation of the community as a whole. However, so there's a contrast. Or right, however, there is still room for improvement in order to attract more community members to visit the center. Okay, that's mean not a lot of people visit the center because it's not attractive. Okay, so in paragraph one, it focus on the classes that they can offer so at present there are only a few classes and then the classes is weekdays morning therefore not a lot of people can join okay then instead the class should be held in the evening or weekend there should also be more classes offered such as uh, i see dance music baking and then it's more relevant to more people uh, like that okay we go to paragraph two all right before we go to paragraph two okay all right look at the question the question say what special facilities should the recreation, uh, recreation center have? Special. Okay, let's look at paragraph two. All right, so Loretta, can you help me to read paragraph two? Paragraph two. At present, there are only a few facilities at the center. There is a swimming pool, badminton court, basketball court, and a small gym. Some facilities are in need to, of repair. You feel they could expand the gym and have more equipment. There are also not enough rooms for classes. Paragraph three. Another area to improve is the cafeteria. There is also one store selling food and it is very costly there is no variety in the food either you suggest that there be other stalls and the food price be more affordable mm, okay so this is paragraph two and paragraph three yeah so they focus on the facilities facilities in bm kemudahan so before you write all this thing, actually writing an article is not as easy as writing a story. But even then, I have to show you. Who knows, right? After that, the articles, uh, questions is easy and you can try. So this one, so they say there is a swimming pool. So make sure you give example to show that I know what is the meaning of facilities. So actually already at present, already there is a swimming pool, badminton court, basketball court and a small gym so there are already a few facilities available some facilities are in need of repair so that is the problem in need of repair you feel they should expand the gym and have more equipment and there are also not enough rooms for classes okay then okay then paragraph three Okay, after that how can the recreation center be improved so now they're talking after you see all the uh, um, all the problems then how can the recreation center be improved so you see in paragraph 3 another area to improve is the cafeteria so it's still focusing on the facilities cafeterias they call uh, we call it canteen but they call it cafeteria right uh, or we also call food court okay 
if you use food court or you use canteen still available uh, still acceptable yeah because this is what the uh the what we call for a place we go to buy food right so there is only one store selling food and it is very costly so you see not enough stores and very costly so there is no variety in the food either you so suggest that there will be other stores and the food price be more affordable actually this is a guidance on Nia uh, to help you to write okay so the next one all right what's the conclusion okay Loretta can you help teach you to read the conclusion conclusion in conclusion, the center should have classes at more suitable times, have more facilities, and also repair some current ones. Furthermore, they should have more stalls at the cafeteria. Cafeteria. Okay. So, class, uh, this is the way you want to write the article. This is the one that you should put in. All right. So, at least we have introduction. Then you have paragraph one, two, three, because it's only 200 to 250 words. You cannot write a lot or so. So until paragraph three, then you come to a conclusion. So make sure you make it uh you make it very specific. Okay, what class you would like to have, so you name it dance class, other classes, and then what special facilities you would like to have. And you just imagine a little bit, say about the problem, everything is up to you. Okay, you are the one who create the problem for the facilities. At the same time, you are the one who come up with the solution. Then the last one, how can the recreation center be improved? So you also give your own idea. What is the what is the problem and how to improve it? Okay, like just like that one. Okay, food very expensive. So how you improve? Make it affordable, reasonable price. After that, if it's something like let's say the basketball court, the swimming pool, need maintenance need to repair so what is your solution all those things so it's all up to you you are holding the pen you have the power to write so this is about article 20 marks okay let's go to the next one i think you also put the wrong question okay this is about express bus right okay did you already sent him to my telegram okay wait wait okay Are you? Oh, no. All right, this one this is the one that it should need to show you. Wait, ah, wait, ah. Uh, okay, skip. Let's get this. All right, teacher will put in the new one. Okay, about uh, about reading books, review on books. Sorry for the because teacher thought I chose this one. I didn't know I changed change the question. Alright, so this is about book review. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. I think I cannot um uh, Wait, huh? okay. All right, so Loretta, can you read the question for book review? Can book reviews wanted? Have you read a good mm. book recently? Send us your book review. Tell us why you enjoy reading the book. Would you recommend the book to your friends? Why? The best review will be published on our online magazine. Okay. All right. So this is a regarding book review. So again, uh, when you receive this one, highlight. Okay. If you want to choose this book review. So, all right. So you highlight. Have you read a book recently? So definitely you have to inform the reader. Yes or no? Okay. Uh, have you read? Have you read a good book? Uh, okay, it can yes and it can be no. Okay, then send us your book review. Okay, then tell us why you enjoy reading the book. So your your main aim is after you have given this one, maybe you can say in introduction. So you must tell why you enjoy the book. 
all right everybody know what need to know the reason why you enjoy it okay then would you recommend it to your friends uh maybe you will or maybe you won't okay then why so make sure you uh you answered the one that teacher underlined okay because that will be our content and that's where teacher will look at the content whether it is relevant and is it fully informed reader readers are fully informed okay let's go to the answer okay yeah uh, not this one okay the answer is here okay all right okay so uh i will read okay i will read now uh. okay so the first one introduction you are an avid reader ah go and find out what is avid reader you don't just say you are a reader but you say you are an avid reader and enjoy reading all types of genre genre means anything goes mystery uh mr uh, what discovery also you like uh romance also you like uh then uh okay comedy also you like so all types okay you just enjoy it so that's called all the different genre so recently you read a book called the girl from widow hills ah, this is up to you the genre of this novel is mystery so this is how you do your introduction okay then the next one okay wait ah. all right then after that after that okay you go to your paragraph okay so paragraph one okay paragraph one ah. okay let's have loretta read loretta just read paragraph one no need to go paragraph two or paragraph one the book is about a woman named erden Maynard. when she was just a child she went sleep sleepwalking outside and got slept away by a rainstorm erden went missing for days but was finally found alive clinging to a storm storm drain the girl who from widow hills was a living miracle miracle okay thank you so you see this one is actually is the summary of the whole book you never tell what happened all the in between no you just said this girl uh went sleep again <clears throat> then went missing after that was found alive clinging to a storm drain storm drain is a very big drain huh? it's called storm drain okay uh the the gigantic drain not like ours huh? it's called storm drain okay but then so to to the rest summarize it's like wow it's a miracle she's still alive uh, she was living then uh, kind of thing, okay so this is the summary of the whole story okay then next see what happened huh? Okay. Okay, we will see what happened next in paragraph two. Okay. All right, paragraph two, did you read? Okay, Arden's mother wrote a book about her and soon Arden became very famous. The fame soon got to Arden, and when she was old enough, Arden changed her name to Olivia. She then moved hundreds of miles away. Okay, this is how, uh, what happened to the author. Okay, this is what happened to the author. Okay, then I'll have Lorita to read paragraph 3. Okay, okay Lorita, can you read paragraph 3? Olivia did not keep in contact with her mother. She was therefore shocked when she was told that her mother had overdosed. Shortly after that, Olivia began sleepwalking again. One night, she wakes up injured in her yard with the corpse of a man. She knows this man from her past as Arden Manor. Okay, so you see the storyline is quite interesting. Okay, the storyline is quite interesting. Okay. Right, huh? Wait. 
All right. So we go to paragraph four. Haven't end yet, ah, uh, this one. Now it's in paragraph four. The teacher will read. Paragraph four. So you are giving your, your, uh, whether you enjoy it or not. You truly enjoyed reading this novel as there are many red herrings which kept you guessing. However, there are still clues that help you figure out what is really happening with Olivia. Okay, so conclusion. You found the ending very satisfying and exciting with surprises all the way until the end. You feel your friends. Okay, let's, let's typically it again. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So uh, this one, the, the last, the, the, the down one. Okay. So the okay, you found that uh, surprise all the way to the end. You feel your friends who are mystery buffs will enjoy reading this novel and thus you would recommend it to them. So, okay, the chat is getting too long. So if you can see that, from the beginning, uh, introduction, right? Okay, you give the introductions of the genre and of the, you, you inform the reader it is a mystery book. So that in paragraph one and paragraph two, basically you just sum up or summarize what is the main story gist. Okay, and of course, if you want to tell about the story, right, it definitely is the same graph. It will be the exposition, writing action, then the climax, going down, and the resolution. You see the same flow here? It started to say that, oh, this girl got sleeping, sleeping walk problem. Then missing, but still alive. So the climax is she changed her name and then she moved out from her place. Didn't stay with the mom anymore. Then what is the uh, falling action? The mom, very sad. Overdose, okay, uh, because this girl didn't uh, contact with her mother. So at the ending, her sleepwalk uh, disease appeared again. Okay, so that's how the storyline got rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. So when you give a answer like that, so the reader is well informed. Okay, then of course, uh, in keep contact, right? Then she got injured. Ah, uh, then when she realized, ah, uh, the man, cops, yala mayat, uh, okay, injured in her yard, and then with a corpse. So there, when you write all this thing, so it makes the reader like me wanted to know actually why, why is she ended up with a corpse? What happened? Ah, uh, with all these ideas, so they will help to attract people who want to read the book. Okay, so uh. Paragraph four. So paragraph uh, one introduction. Okay, that's that you summarize the story. So in paragraph four, you explain. I truly enjoy reading the novel as there are many red herrings. Means like there's a lot of things for you to stop, think, and then you guess. Okay, so then you have, but then there's clue. So it's quite nice to read this book. So conclusion, you found the ending very satisfying and exciting. So you want to uh, recommend this book to your friends, especially uh, your friends, those friends that really enjoy mystery. Then they call it mystery buffs. So that's how you conclude the uh, review for book. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, uh, move on to the next one. It's your book to, to complete the whole. Okay, it's about the story. Okay, I will have to see the answer that teacher has given. Okay. All right. So the questions. Okay, the question actually is lend a helping hand. Huh? Okay, I just bear with teacher for a while. Now, teacher will show the question to you. Okay, and I will send it here. Okay. All right, just wait for a while. All right, it's regarding uh, a helping hand. This will be a question.
right? Okay, later on, right, when you get your question, uh, it's a bit weird because when teacher have that question, right, it started with question 3, 4, 5. Actually, uh, it's the continuous. Question 1 is for part 1. Question 2 is for part 2. And then question uh, part 3, they start with question 3, 4, 5. Okay, so you will have this question 5. All right, teacher will read the question to you. Yeah, I read the question to you. Huh? So, uh, your teacher has asked you to write a story for the school magazines. The story must have the title. Must have. No choice. The title what? A helping hand. Okay? So, your story should include a description of the help needed. What you need. What help needed. And number two, how the help has was given. Two things only that you need to do to create the story about a helping hand. Okay? All right. All right. Teacher will be la because I think it is not very clear. Okay, I will read to you the story. Okay, I will read to you the story. So it started off with Aurea. Okay, introduction. Adam and his family live next door to a poor elderly lady, Mak Lima. She lives in a wooden house. One day, her house caught fire and was raised to the ground. Okay, so that is. Uh, basically lead to what help needed okay the clue poor elderly lady live in wooden house then the house caught fire uh, so these are the three key things that you will focus on okay then you go to paragraph one okay let's look at paragraph one huh? okay look at paragraph one okay paragraph one mark lima had nowhere to go. Her husband had died not too long ago and she had no children. So that's the real problem. So she also had no relatives. So Adam and his family felt sorry for her. They did her to stay at the home. She refused at first but eventually agreed. So leading to the help. So paragraph two. Okay, if you will go to paragraph two. Okay, we'll go to paragraph two, huh? paragraph two and right. So paragraph two, Adam's father and the other people in the neighborhood then decided to rebuild Mark Lima's house. They would work on their house in the evenings after work and on weekends, it took them more than a month to rebuild the house. So very clear, right? The help needed is to build, to rebuild the house. Okay, so then it answers how, how this uh, how the help was being uh, was being given. Then you go to paragraph three. Okay, then we go to paragraph three. Okay. So in paragraph three, okay, let's have Loretta do. Loretta, can you read paragraph three? While the house was being rebuilt, Mak Lima decided to make and sell kue to support herself. She did not want to burden Adam's family. Adam and his sister, Laila, helped Mak Lima to set up a stall outside their house. Many people came to buy her kue as they were delicious. Conclusion. Okay, okay. So, so, first, okay. Wait, uh. so you see the, the flow. Uh. Okay, teacher, repeat again. So first, you give the introduction of this is a poor lady and then uh, the house is wooden and then the uh, one day it got burned. Correct? Then you move on to the second part to tell the scenario again. No husband, no children, no relatives. So what they offer? Offer for Mak Lima to stay together with them. Okay? At the end, what help did they um, extend to Mak Lima? They rebuilt the house. Okay? But then in uh, paragraph 3, uh, very good. Paragraph 3 added, well, the house was being rebuilt. I mean, like, Mak Lima is not those like, no, just sit there, do nothing. So Mak Lima decided to make and sell way to support herself. She did not want to burden Adam's family. Okay? So, 
Uh, then Adam and his family help again, help Mahima to set up the store. So second help. First help, uh, stay at their house, build the house. Then the second help, help Mahima to set up the stores, okay, outside the house. So many people came to buy her kueh as they were delicious. Okay, let's go to the composition. You see the storyline, right, is not very draggy. Okay, the storyline is quite straight. Uh, just a few points, quite straightforward. Okay, let's look at the conclusion. Okay, all right. The okay, teacher will read the conclusion. So, the conclusion. After Mark Lima's house was rebuilt, she went back home. She thanked Adam's family and the other neighbors for helping her. Actually, you can conclude some more. Uh, she continued to sell the quay and make a living. So, it's a very nice conclusion. Okay, it didn't leave like Mark Lima, uh, no job, no income. But everything is summer. So that's how you uh, write if you ever want to choose this part. Okay, and uh, this is in your uh this is in your exam paper. Huh? So did, uh, did you really hope that um you all will review back okay uh what is being taught today and then pick your best choice that you want to write. For this one, number three, it's up to you. Which one you want to write is Depend on you. Okay? All right. Teacher going to, uh, as teacher have mentioned, our main focus today actually, okay, huh? our main focus today actually is the part two. So, teacher later on, we're going to give you, forget about the other part, the other essays. Okay, the other essays that only three person have handed in. All right? Okay, now teacher want you to focus on question two, part two. Teacher going to give you one essay, and I really hope that you are writing uh, during this holiday, and then hand it to teacher, um, if you can, on Monday. Don't don't wait until on Friday only you hand it, okay? You hand it on Monday, if there's a need, a teacher might call from another class to finalize or to reinforce your writing. Okay, maybe somewhere on Wednesday or something like that, or Thursday or Friday before you really sit for your exam. All right, because teacher won't be able to teach when you come back because you're sitting for exam. Okay, ah, so I won't be able to teach at all. So the only time that I can touch on is maybe one of this holiday. A lot of you didn't appear, so only today, like you know, seven, eight, eight of you around where we have 23 in the class. So I cannot imagine what happened to the rest of them. Okay, how will their writing be? So I hope that those who are with the teacher today and have already go through the whole writing paper, focus on paper two, uh, no, the part two, okay? All right? Uh, so that's all for today. I'm going to post it in your uh, in your class Telegram as well as in Google Classroom. So please submit, type, and submit it via Google Classroom. Okay, now teacher have to do everything go to Google Classroom because I think the Google Classroom has not been really activated besides you're doing all the quizzes and all the things, okay? Other than that, you don't really submit your work there. Now I need you all to submit the work there as evidence, okay? Huh? So that's all for today. All right, bye.